Uh, my own work is, is primarily focused in, in treatment development for teenagers with eating disorders. And um, I have been at the forefront of working um, in the treatment of, of adolescents with anorexia nervosa, developing family-based treatment uh, for this patient population, um, and have subsequently go on to uh, adapt and, and uh, that same treatment for adolescents with, with bulimia nervosa. And we've just recently completed the first US study, uh, RCT for adolescents with, with BN, and we're currently working on the second one. Um, and we have go on to develop the, the same kind of treatment, again, family-based treatment for adolescents who are overweight. So starting out with adolescents who are underweight, adolescents who binge and approach, and now adolescents who are overweight. Uh, and I think it's a, it's a nice progression of uh, utilizing parents as the agents of change, if you like, uh, in treatment and uh, trying to prevent um, unnecessary hospitalizations for teens with eating disorders by uh, really reinforcing the, the talent that most parents have to take care of their children. Uh, in very specific ways in anorexia nervosa as opposed to BN and as opposed to um, adolescents who are overweight. Is this the, the Maudsley approach? Correct, yeah. Okay. The, so it, the, I, I trained at the Maudsley in London before I came to the US um, and so this treatment was developed there for teens with anorexia nervosa um, and kind of became known as the Maudsley approach. But in writing the treatment manuals for uh, this approach, uh, we opted to rather refer to it as family-based treatment, as a, a clearer descriptor of what actually happens in the treatment. As it, at it, because at its very core, what you're trying to do is to mobilize the parents to take effective charge of, of combating the eating disorder, whether it's anorexia nervosa, bulimia nervosa, or, or overweight. Uh, what other research is going on uh, on eating disorders here at the University of Chicago? Um, I, I think it's fair to say that, that our lab is primarily focused on treatment development. I think it's uh, very um, helpful for us to be focused in one area, albeit across both diagnostic groups as well as um, uh, age groups. My, my colleague Eunice Chen, who works on the adult side, uh, has we, we share the same interest in terms of treatment development, uh, but she's primarily focused on the treatment development of adults with eating disorders. And it looks very different from what I'm doing in terms of mobilizing parents to be engaged in the treatment of their teens, whereas uh, Dr. Chen has to focus on the adult and, and doesn't have access to, to parents or partners necessarily to assist in that treatment process. Uh, she also has a specific interest in um, adults with very complex presentations of eating disorders in that they have comorbid uh, access to disorders, more specifically personality disorders. So working with a uh, spectrum of patients who are very taxing and very treatment resistant, uh, I think she's making excellent headway in, in, in developing new treatments to uh, fit that patient population and to test those uh, treatments in randomized controlled studies. So across the, the lab, we probably have at any one time four or five treatment studies running, uh, which I think is uh, um, a very good and, and focused endeavor. And then you have uh, the conference coming up in April here in Chicago? Yeah. Um, so there's a very active uh, group of parents um, who either have uh, daughters or sons who recovered from eating disorders or might still be struggling, uh, who have um, sort of organized a, a, a grassroots organization called Martsley Parents. And they have a great website, uh, www.martsleyparents.org. And this is a group of very energetic, organized parents who uh, a, ha have this website uh, where they do a lot of education to other for other parents. Uh, it's a very uh, informative website, a, a lot of uh, references to um, uh, common sense materials and academic materials to educate uh, parents in the community about uh, good treatment for their children and where to access that treatment. 
Uh, and about a year ago, uh, that organization with whom I'm quite involved uh, organized a, a meeting, the first conference in Bethesda, Maryland, uh, bringing together uh, Walter Kay, who's a psychiatrist at University of California, San Diego, uh, working in eating disorders, and myself at a one-day meeting in Bethesda. So the meeting on the 26th of April at the Quad Club here at the University of Chicago is the second uh, meeting organized by the MotsleyParents.org group, where the same speakers, uh, Walt Kay from San Diego and myself, will be presenting. Walt Kay is a biological psychiatrist, and he does a lot of fantastic work uh, around uh, uh, um, the biological uh, features of, of patients with eating disorders or some of the underlying biological, the possible underlying biological markers of uh, anorexia and bilirubin. He's done uh, a, a great deal of work in the genetics of eating disorders and uh, fMRI studies uh, in eating disorders. And he is a great speaker linking uh, some of these clear biological processes to the development of eating disorders. Uh, then myself talking about the Maudsley approach and how parents can be helpful in the recovery of their children. And then the third component is some members of, of our team here at the University of Chicago will convene a parent group or a parent panel uh, where several parents with either uh, a current, uh, an offspring who currently is still suffering or uh, has recovered from an eating disorder will talk about their experiences in family-based treatment. And that will conclude the day. And there are still slots available? Yeah, that? there's slots available, and if you want to register for that, you go to www.marsleyparents.org, and there's a, on the homepage uh, a um, registration button.